Welcome Fairview community. Thank you for watching this video about flipped learning at Fairview. Now I'm going to take you through this exciting new development. It's a little bit counterintuitive, so you're going to have to follow me slowly, but I'll do it as simple as I can. Now, the essence of flipped classroom is schoolwork done at home and homework done in school. We need to understand first what happens in the classroom. There are three things that we typically do. One, you learn your facts and content. Two, you learn skills and values. And finally, you consolidate your learning in the class using activities. And we're gonna focus on the first and the third. The problem with traditional education typically is, let's say I learn uh, some algebra in class. I learn, 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 and then I go home and I'm doing these really, really hard questions and my teacher is not present to help me with those hard questions. And that's when I really need my teacher. In flipped classrooms, however, we wanna put forward these couple of premises first. One, traditional education typically uses lecturing to teach content, but there are lots of new ways of doing this in today's day and age, like videos and students reading on their own. Students are way more empowered these days and you'll be amazed what they can do. The second one is simple to moderately complicated content can be learned by the student at home through videos and text and you don't need a teacher present. So say for example, I wanna learn about the structure of a heart, learning about the chambers of the heart. I don't need a teacher to tell me the four names of the four chambers. I just read it off a diagram. You don't need educators to be present there. What you do need though, happens in the classroom, in flipped. And that would be activities to consolidate learning, to really stretch your thinking, to take you to, into more complex facts. Like, I already learned about the chambers of the heart. How about the pumping of the heart? I don't understand how that system works. That requires a teacher to be present, to really guide you through it. And then of course, to clarify simple content. So there's times that you don't need a teacher and there's times that you need a teacher present. And we need to appreciate the difference between these two. In a flipped classroom, however, we give you the content, the simple to moderately complicated facts to be learned via videos and text and diagrams before the lesson. Then you come to the lesson, we clarify that content, then we bring you into more complicated content, and then we spend the remainder of that time doing consolidation activities so that you really get that knowledge into you. These will be creative activities that push your higher order thinking skills. Now, why is the flipped classroom better? One, in a normal classroom, the learning takes place as a teacher writes down things or you draw something on the board and you, you copy everything down as fast as you can or you have to read it off a textbook. In a flipped classroom, all that content is sent to you beforehand and it's easily accessible. If you can't remember what your teacher said, well, in the normal situation, you're stuck. But in a flipped classroom, that content has already been sent to you in an optimized way, so you just rewatch the video or reread the text that you've been given. Secondly, time is better spent in engaging tasks like discussions and activities instead of learning content which could have been done at home. Which student wants to sit in class just listening to a teacher talk and talk and talk and talk? That is incredibly boring. That's what we call passive learning. Active learning is when you're engaging with the content, discussing, getting excited about it, being challenged with difficult questions. Learning time in school thus is more efficient and more time can be developed, devoted to the development of skills, content, values, and that higher order thinking skills, skills like evaluate, skills like analyze, which really push a student and they really need an educator to be present. So this is a little summary about what is flipped learning. Please watch the next video about how you can optimize your child's learning in a flipped learning environment. Thank you very much.